what it do, what it do with you girl Zara, aka your African Barbie and one half of this channel. Welcome back to our channel. If you haven't been here before, thank you for joining us. Today I want to show you guys how to make your hair smell really nice perpetually. So it's gonna be seven ways to make your hair smell nice all the time. For those of you who really just want to have hair that smells angelic, this is the video for you. So before we get right into the video, I'd like you to do four very simple things. Give this video a big thumbs up for me, comment down below, share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on. I have no idea what you're doing if you're not subscribed to our channel. We're really fun over here. So join the family and enjoy the beautiful content that we try our best to make for you all. Okay guys, so tip slash way number one, which is absolutely the most important thing and the foundation of having beautiful scented hair is cleansing your hair. Before we get into it, you guys could check out my wash day routine. It's pretty old, but it's still super effective. And I do that from time to time. If you want an updated one, let me know in the comments below. But there are several ways to cleanse the hair. My favorite way is to use shampoo. And it's actually, in my opinion, the best way because you need something to actually remove the dirt and the buildup from your scalp. You don't necessarily have to put it all through your hair. Usually if you put it on your scalp and really lather, the rest will run down your hair and cleanse it adequately. Another way is black soap, which we actually talked about in the video where we built a regimen without any hair products. So I'm gonna put that right here for you guys. Totally check that out. But it's actually my second favorite. Maybe it's my first favorite. It has very exceptional healing properties. It's super natural and it doesn't cause irritation when used correctly. The last way, which I also mentioned in that video, is to use different clays like Rasool clay or bentonite clay. These three ways will actually prepare a perfect foundation for exceptionally scented hair. Way number two, aka tip number two, you need to use products that smell nice, guys. If you want your hair to smell beautiful and you're using products that do not necessarily smell nice, then chances are your hair is not going to smell beautiful. Really, what you put on it is what it's going to just put out to the world. So if you put a really lovely rose scented conditioner on your hair, chances are people are going to say, Wow, girl or guy, you smell like roses. My goodness, what is that beautiful aroma? If you put something that smells like, I don't know, grass on your hair, chances are people are going to be like, You kind of smell like a freshly mowed lawn. Some people might like that scent. So hey, but if that's not your cup of tea, definitely look for products that have really nice scents. Part of this tip is also adding certain fragrance oils to your product. So if you really like the scent of almond and you make your own oil or something, maybe add a fragrance oil of almond to your oil mix. It's gonna be really helpful and it's going to give you the flavor you want your hair to have. Be sure to allow your hair and your scalp to touch the air. If your hair is constantly covered and you're sweating or water's getting in it, then it's definitely going to produce a pretty negative odor. To avoid all of that, make sure your hair and your scalp are getting adequate amount of air. Our fourth way is to actually ensure that you're not wetting your hair too often if you know that your scalp and your hair cannot have access to the air. This is to say that if you're wearing a weave or you got some extensions, you can't be wetting your hair all the time without making sure that you're drying it. It's extremely important to ensure that you're using a hooded dryer or something else that produces enough heat to adequately dry your hair when it's being kept underneath a weaver extension. Trust me guys, I have my fair share of weaves and extensions and if you don't dry your hair properly, it's going to grow mildew, fungus, it's gonna smell, it's just not cute. Now number five is actually quite interesting and a lot of people are not necessarily aware of this, but what you put into your body is what comes out of it. So if you guys want to smell really beautiful, make sure that you maintain a healthy diet and drink plenty of water, plenty of H2O. It's really, really important. Some certain foods that actually help the body to produce positive odors include lemon, cranberry, and pineapples. Now these are just the three that I know like right off the top of my head and I actually enjoy consuming them which is pretty convenient <laughs> but you guys should definitely do your own research regarding what kinds of foods actually promote a positive pleasant body odor. So number six should be pretty intuitive I think but again this might be something that's easy to overlook. Keep your hair tools clean. Don't use a brush that was just under your bed on your hair chances are your hair is going to get dirty and it's not going to produce the smell that you're looking for it to produce. It's really important to keep your hair tools extremely clean, even down to your satin bonnets and your pillowcases, etc., etc. I also have my scalp massager here. You know, this is my favorite hair tool. I keep it very clean. I make sure to go through it with a little toothbrush. It happens to be my edge toothbrush and I just put some soap on it and, you know, run it through. But you guys should check out my video on my scalp massager. Anywho, I digress. Let's get on to the last one. 
one. Use a scented hair mist. Now guys, I say use a scented hair mist because body sprays might have certain alcohols and ish in them, which could dry out your hair. So when actually using a perfume or cologne for your hair, make sure that it's specifically a hair mist. That's super important. There are also moisturizing hair mists that have super fantastic aromas. For me, my hair is kind of bougie, but it's kind of difficult to get my favorite products in Nigeria. So what I do typically is I'll put my favorite conditioner in a spray bottle, add a bit of water, and then I'll mist my hair with it. It keeps my hair super soft and that conditioner has a really, really beautiful aroma. So there are plenty of times when, you know, some certain people will be like, yeah, but your hair smells so good. Wow, your hair smells fantastic. I'm like, oh my gosh, thanks guys. Anyway, you guys, that's the entire video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that these very, very simple tips are going to help you, have helped you. If you guys have any more tips regarding how to keep your hair smelling nice, let me know down below in the comment section. <laughs> so let me round this video up. But before we do, please do the four simple things I always ask you to do. Give this video a big thumbs up for me. Let's me know that you love this video. Let's YouTube know that this is the kind of content you'd like to see. Be sure to comment down below. To share this video with all of your friends and your loved ones. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on. Like I always say, guys, I have no idea what you're doing if you're not subscribed to our channel. We're really fun over here. So join the family and enjoy the beautiful content that we try our best to make for you all. Thank you guys so much for sharing your time with me. It means so much to me and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.